in just seven days, we saw multiple millions of dollars in comic book sales. That's right, Tom, with the Heritage auction ending, we have multiple blue chip record breakers to discuss. Hit the like, slap the subscribe button. We're here every single week reporting on the height of the comic book marketplace, the hottest comic books in the world. And at the list at number 10, we have Marvel premiere issue number 28, debuting in February 1976, the first appearance of the team of the supernatural, the occult, the Legion of Monsters. And I got my Morbius shirt on. I just saw Morbius in the theaters. It's getting mixed reviews, but we'll save that for another time. Meanwhile, this book is still breaking records. We have a 2.0 that sold for $60. No prior record on that. Just like the 2.5 that had no prior record data selling for $93. And then a 4.5, which sold for $130. Again, no previous data, but how many of these copies are selling? This is the third time this book has made our hot 10 in 2022. The second time in two weeks, largely because of Morbius. Also considering that Werewolf by Night is indeed slated for the Disney Plus Halloween special. Also, Man-Thing being a Nexus being, there's a lot of Easter eggs in WandaVision for that. But also an Easter egg that happened on the Grandmaster's Tower in Thor Ragnarok. Only more reason that this really attainable key book has been spiking ever since. Not to mention the $10,000 monster sale for a CGC 9.8 that occurred last week. Next at the list at number nine, another character to just add to the fire of the Legion of Monsters. Marvel Spotlight issue number five, taking it in 1972, the first appearance of the Ghost Rider, Johnny Blaze. I was always a big fan of this key, and obviously collectors still are. We have a CGC 5.0, which sold for $1,945 back in June, up 3%, holding steady, but breaking new ground, selling for $2,000. We also had two CGC 6.0 sales. It sold for $2,650 back in March. This all-new record-breaking sale puts it up 4%, selling for $2,750, and we also had a sale for $2,675 this week as well. This is a notoriously difficult book to secure in high grade. That black cover, the photo frame cover. This is a very popular Bronze Age book, the most unique superhero of all time. We have concept art that started circulating back in May 2021, making the demand of this book only go up more and more. And we warned you about monster blue chip keys. We had a 9.6 that came to market this week, last selling in November for $84,000, up 7%, now selling for an all new high, of 90k hot damn comic fam and we're hitting you with so much data there's so much information here you got to be following key collector make sure to download the app it's all there for you to reference if you need to go back to it Use code TOM101 to unlock a free two-week subscription of the app in its entirety. Get access to every single category. Support this show. Suggested pricing. Get approximate values to your collection and get better on the hunt. Next at the list, at number eight, Nova number one from September 1976. Jim, we're talking about Richard Ryder again. Can you believe it? I can't believe it, Tom. It was number five on last week's Hot 10, and it's a character that's been speculated on ever since the Guardians of the Galaxy introduced the Nova Corps into the MCU. Plus, Kevin Feige has promised this Nova movie for some years now. Nova has been moving quick on eBay at auction houses, and we have price correction happening in lower grades after the new heights were reached, breaking the $3,000 marker and stands steady between that 25 hundo marker ever since. We have a 5.0 going for 150 back in November, up 17%, hitting 175. The 6.5 going for 169 in February is up 7%, steadily rising, now hitting $180. Same with the 7.5. It's holding steady. It sold for $210 back in December. It's up 5%, now selling for $220. And now at number seven, we have Journey into Mystery 83, the first appearance of the most colorful superhero of all time, Thor. And as we get closer and closer to Thor Love and Thunder, we're seeing record-breaking sales for his first appearance, starting with the CGC 4.0. It sold for $16,570 back in October. It's up 1%, now selling for $16,800. 
And then we have the 7.0. It sold for $38,500 back in June, and it's still holding steady. Only a 6% increase, but still selling for $40,800. And then we have a 9.4 sale, and I cannot stress how rare of an occurrence this is because there are no 9.8s of Journey 83 on the census, and there are only three 9.6s in existence. None have sold publicly. So the only historical record we have is for 9.4s, and one just came and went this very week, and there's only a total of 14 of those in existence. The last 9.4 sold back in September for $319,800, and this past week, it's up 35% selling for an all-new high of $432,000. With that huge record-breaking sale, a CGC 9.4, we have a treat for you guys. We're going to go through many of the Avengers Marvel blue chip keys take a look at their high grade sales and see how they compare from when the MCU first came out until their most recent sale hit the subscribe button we're taking you back in time to when these characters first showed up in theaters we have journey 83 9.4 2012 going for $222,200 and this week now going for 432 grand And keep in mind the Thor movie debuted in 2011, so that first sale was almost a year after its debut. But we're going to take it back a little bit further to Tales of Suspense 39, a CGC 9.2, the first appearance of Tony Stark, Iron Man. Now, in 2008, the movie came out, the first movie of the MCU that would set off the events over the next decade. Back then, in 2008, sold for $35,000. The most recent sale, 2021, sold for $144,000. Then we have an 8.5 of The Incredible Hulk. We're taking you back to just a little after 2008-ish, the first appearance of Edward Norton Hulk. Well, there was a 8.5 that sold in 2011, went for $55,000. And in 2022, the first appearance of Bruce Banner has hit 245K. All right, guys. Now, remember, she's a founding Avenger in the MCU, Natasha Romanoff, the Black Widow. She first appeared in Tales of Suspense 52, and we have a CGC 9.4 sale to take a look at. Now, remember, she first debuted in Iron Man 2 back in May of 2010. That same year, her first appearance in a 9.4 sold for $3,002. Fast forward to this year, 2022, that same 9.4 sells for $29,500. Then we have the first appearance of Hawkeye in Tales of Suspense 57. We have him debuting in Thor 2011 and since then starring in his own series on Disney+. Plus. So I expect these numbers to be outstanding. Back in 2011, a 9.4 of this book went for $5,700. Fast forward to 2021, last sale put it at 16,800. That's not too shabby, but let's talk about the Avengers as a whole. The movie debuted in 2012. Avengers issue one in a CGC 9.6 a few years after in 2015 would go to sell for $215,100. Flash forward to 2021, that same book and that same grade sold for $369,000. And if you are subscribed to Key Collector Comics, you have already gotten this alert because we had a major record breaker that happened this week for a comic that hasn't sold since 2019, Captain America number one. Now, regardless of if the first Captain America movie came out in 2011, the last time a 9.4 Captain America one came to market in 2019, it sold for $915,000. And over this last week, that book in that grade hit. million dollars hot damn now we only touched on a few characters which characters specifically new ones do you think are benefiting the most from showing up in the mcu what books will make this list the next time at the list of number six we have uncanny x-men issue number one the first appearance of the x-men the first appearance of magneto and professor x debuting in september 1963 jack kirby stanley goodness Definitely the X-Men book to own. The first appearance of the team, of Professor X, of Magneto. We know they're coming. We don't know how they're going to be introduced into the MCU, so they still have so much potential. And with Disney+, Plus, forget it. Any mutant could get their own series. We're looking at a CGC 7.0, which sold for $49,200 back in June, up 28%, now selling for $63,000. The 7.5 went for $75,000 back in May last year. That's up 4% this week, now selling for 78 k 
And come to think about it, we did get that Professor X tease in the Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness trailer, so maybe we'll see something sooner than later. Looking at the CGC 8.0, it sold for $90,000 back in September. Its new record-breaking sale puts it up 13%, selling for $102,000. At the list at number 5, Ultimate Fallout number 4. Brian Michael Bendis debuting in 2011, the first appearance of Miles Morales. And you know what's funny? We mentioned that there were a lot of blue chip marble keys on this list. Does this one count as one of those yet? In my opinion, Jem, I actually consider this, if not one of the first, the first modern blue chip keys. I have to hear what the community thinks because we have some monster size sales to report on this week. All right, first up, let's talk about the direct edition, a CGC 9.8. It came to market and it tied its all-time high sale of $3,840, which was set back in July. Then we have the 1 out of 25 Jejevic variant. We have a CGC 8.5, which sold for $4,200 back in April, up 11%, now selling for $4,650. We also have a 9.4 that came to market, last selling in April for 7,400, up 1%, now selling for 7,500. But, you know, this 9.8 direct market copy may seem very exciting. It may seem like something huge just took place, matching the all-time record, but it pales in comparison to the newsstand 9.6 that we haven't seen hit the market since 2020. Last selling for $6,650, an all-new record set this week, now selling for an all-new high of thirty-eight grand. Which brings us to number four on the list, a book that has made this list many times, Silver Surfer Issue 4, with an iconic classic cover of Thor vs. Silver Surfer, plus the second appearance of one Mephisto. One of the best covers of all time, a thick book, dark book, Difficult to secure in high grade, an 8.5 going for 3,200 back in May is up 3%, now selling for 3,300. The 9.2 going for 6,000 in just January is up 58%. This iconic cover is about to break 10K, landing at 9,500. And the 9.6 making gains as it sold for $28,800 back in September. It's up 17% now, selling for $33,600. Something that took place this week is very scarce blue chip books, some of the highest in the marketplace, coming to the market. And when those books hit, it encourages other members of the community who have their keys, maybe not as big as those, but some as big as those, to try to ride the wave. And that's what we're seeing this week because this book, I suspect, went to auction because of the Fantastic Four number one sale. But hit the subscribe button, stay tuned. We gotta tell you about number three on the list before we get to that with Doctor Strange 169. Formerly titled Strange Tales, the first solo titled Doctor Strange issue. Yeah, the Doctor Strange titling and numbering had me confused. Thanks, Zoro. You can put the graphic up if you want. But uh, Doctor Strange 169, we have a CGC 5.0, which sold for $475 back in February, up 13%, now selling for $535. And then we have a 7.5, which sold for $900 also back in February, and that's up 6%, now selling for $950. Now take a look at this. This is pretty cool. A 9.8 last coming to market of this book in 2021 went for $13,000 and we have two different record breakers to report on. The same grade, but very different looking comics. The first, $21,600 selling for an increase of 66% hot damn comic fam. However, the other an older CGC label selling for 14400 Why the difference in price? Well, I think we've shown more than once that not all grades are created equally. Not all 9.8s are alike. And it's evident when you look at the new case, CGC 9.8 is so much more vibrant than that old school label one. Yeah, look at the spine. There's little... what. Could be just printing defects, but that alone makes the eye appeal so much better on the newer slabbed book that it brought more than $6,000 more to the auction. Next, at the list, at number two, we have Werewolf by Night issue number one. We had the Legion of Monsters, and now we have the Werewolf by Night in his first solo series with issue number one, and also rumors that he's going to show up in the Halloween special later this year on Disney+, Plus, with a ton of grades to report on, starting with the CGC 3.0. It sold for just $100 back in December, and it's up 130%, now selling for $230. 
We have a 5.0 going for 260 back in October, up 19%, now selling for 310. The 6.5 going for 330 in January is up 16%, now selling for 384. We can just call this the Disney Plus effect. The 7.0 back in February going for 420 is up 7%, now selling for 449. And we'll top it off with the CGC 8.5. It sold for $800 back in March, and it's up 3%, now selling for $825. Hit the like, slap the subscribe, comment down below to you to win this Omni-Man Invincible number one. And if you enjoy what we do, support the show and give me an excuse to send you comics every single month by hitting the link in the description or go to comictom101.com. Join the April Mystery Mail Call. We have two Virgin Peach Momoko exclusives of Something Is Killing the Children, issue number 21. Going out at random, one per box, not both. Jem, hit him with the number one hottest book in the multiverse. I'd be happy to, Tom. It's Fantastic Four, issue number one, just like with X-Men. We know that they're coming to the MCU. We have high hopes. We just don't know how they're going to be introduced yet, but we still have room to grow on this book until that time comes. We have multiple record breakers and a very scarce 9.2 that hardly ever comes to market that broke records this week. Buckle up. We have a 2.0 going for $15,500 back in March, up 7%, now selling for $16,600. The 5.0 going for $34,800 in November is up 45%, now selling for $50,400. Gem, hit him with that 7.5. The 7.5 sold for $69,000 two years ago, 2020. It's up 143%, selling for $168,000. Then we have a 9.2, which hasn't come into market since 2012. It was a pedigree, and it sold for $203,000. Now, there's only three 9.2s currently on the census, only two 9.6s, and no 9.8 exists. So... When we saw this 9.2 come to market with so many factors pointing towards investment being safe for the first Marvel family, we knew it would break records. But would we know it would hit $1.5 million, an increase of 638% hot damn. What a crazy comic book marketplace it is. And what a well-deserved sale for such a great book. It was undervalued for years. I think we're going to see the full potential of the Fantastic Four in the MCU. Hit the like, slap the subscribe, and as always, geek responsibly and stay minty fresh. Nuff said. Comic fam, join myself, Jam Mint, and all my homies on the best new app to buy and sell collectibles. Whatnot, available for both Androids and iPhones. We are bringing big keys, exclusive comics, and so much more to this app. Come join us, support what we do, and enjoy these other two videos. We made them for you.